Well, this is News Literacy Week, and in partnership with our parent company, EW Scripps, CBS 6 is committed to help local journalism teachers. In this week's Building Better Minds report, we show you one class that could be the future of good news practices, thanks to their hardworking teacher. News Literacy interview, take one. Why is media literacy important? Amanda McDaniel teaches mass communications and TV production at Mechanicsville High School. To show what is true and what isn't. We came out to not only help the class in a lesson about shooting a TV news story, but to talk about news literacy. Valid news sources, good. And we were surprised to learn Miss McDaniel was already ahead of the game. We start off by learning what is a valid news source. And from there, we continue and start to learn about what is misinformation and how to identify forms of misinformation, as well as media bias. Her students learned about five types of misinformation, satire, false context, as well as imposter, fabricated, and manipulated content. I knew there was a little bit, like I knew it wasn't all true, but I was surprised by how much there was. To fight misinformation, the students learned seven standards of quality journalism. They include using credible sources, verification, avoiding bias, and using balance and fairness. Is it a source that you can trust? Is it a source that has a reputable, uh, well, has a good reputation? I never really paid any attention to the news, but once I started this class, I understand it more, and I know, like, what to look for and what's not true and what is true. We live in a digital world where content is at our fingertips 24-7, uh, and that's the world that these students have known their whole lives. It's great that we have the internet and that there's a lot of open opportunities for, for people to share their opinions and things that they find out, but it's also a very big opportunity for people to lie on. While not every student here will go on to be a journalist, most plan to use what they've learned. We can look back and have that knowledge, so then we can also share it with other people so hopefully we can consume more news that is factual and real. We know the consequences of what can happen if misinformation can spread, and this is the generation that can stop that. Building news literacy? We're on the right track. Is building better minds. Now that you've taken this class, you build better minds. Congratulations yeah. to you. Yeah. And join us all week long as we highlight news literacy and the fight against mis misinformation. Uh, you can also access our campaign on our website, WTVR.com. This is so important right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to hear about inspiring people in your school. Nominate someone for Building Better Minds. Send an email to newstips at WTVR.com. Nominate anyone you think makes a difference in our local schools.